So hello there everyone and welcome, this is going to be my first ever career mode video, uh, you can call me Opikonoam and just to give you a little bit of a background to my F1 gaming experience, I started playing back in 2004, um, the first three games I got from F1 were F1 2004, 2005 and 2006. Um, 2006 was probably the one I played the most, uh, you guys might also know it for as Championship Edition. Uh, pretty cool game, still one of my favorites of all time. And as far as more modern F1 games, I got F1 2017, where I ran most assists. And by 2018, by when I got the game, I actually dropped most of them. And now the only one I use is really just the racing line on the corners. So yeah, I got F1 2017, 2018 and now 2019. And now I'm going to start career mode. So as you can see here I was picking the team, I went for Campos Racing because you know, I'm Portuguese and it's a Spanish team, it's the closest to home so I decided to go with that one. As far as the Driver Academy, I I'm going with the Ferrari one. Um, I'm not going to tell you right away which team I'm going to pick, but I'm just going to tell you it's not Ferrari, so let's leave it at that. So here you can see um, just see um, the options. I'm just going through them. I actually uh, started the career mode before this one. I only did the first two sessions of F2, and. Um, I was running at 105, but I decided to go to 101, as you saw there. Mostly so that I could, you know, kind of be able to do well, because at 105 I could do well, but I couldn't really chase the AI, the AI that much, and I wasn't really used to the F2 cars, so I just decided to go back. And anyway, let's go to the first event on F2, right there in Spain. Campos's new driver really commanding the race here. Devon Butler still ruthlessly giving chase. These two have been really scrapping it out for the early wins in the championship. And something's wrong. Butler sees his chance. Some kind of mechanical failure. Picking up speed again. It's unclear what the issue was. Can they still finish this race? Looks like an issue with the turbo. You've lost some speed at the top end, but you're very close to the finish. You can still compete and get some points here. Don't give up. Just do the best you can. We're all behind you. So yeah, this is the first event on the F2 calendar. We only have three. Uh, this first one is, you know, not that hard, you just have to keep position, but the radio is coming on and you understand. Your teammate is approaching and wants to get past. Repeat, Lucas wants to pass you. So the game gives you the option to let him pass or keep it behind you, but it'll be difficult if you keep him behind you. Again, your teammate wants to pass you. I know you don't want to drop a position, but without your turbo, he's the best one to challenge for points further up the field. If you hold Lucas up, you could be denying the team points. That's great. Lucas could push on now. Lucas wants me to pass on his thanks. I know it's frustrating, but you made the right call for the team. Now we're all with you. Just bring it home as best you can. As I was saying, it was going to be difficult to keep him behind because the other cars would catch up and it would be a bit difficult to keep them all behind you. I just let him go. It would be easier. And from then on, nothing really happened till the end of the race, to be honest through laps, you just have to keep up the pace, although you don't have as much speed at the top end, but yeah. So you can see here just a few replays of the race, the cars behind me, they're at least a couple of seconds behind me, they're not really, they didn't really catch up. And I was just able to cruise home and get P6, as you'll see in just a few moments, nothing really happened. I just let Lucas Weber pass, and that was pretty much the whole race. And yeah, just 
cruising home and keeping the distance I was actually able to do a few fast laps as you saw here I kind of lost the car a little bit but anyway that was P6 in the first event. Well done, good finish. He stepped up and achieved what we asked. Good job. Carlin have pulled off a sublime performance to secure the top step of the podium today. Davide, what do you think made the difference here? I think what won them the race was their ability to adapt. At every point, they delivered what was needed. They were calm and steady when they needed to be, but they were ruthless and aggressive when it was demanded of them. There wasn't anything out there that they weren't preparing to have. Let's see if they can keep it up this season. As we can see, it's time for the podium, and I can see the Carlin team underneath our commentary box going crazy as their driver walks out. It was a great win, and it means a great deal to this team. So yeah, Carlin won the race. Um, yeah, the team from... Devin Butler's team, I mean. Uh, yeah, nothing really going on there. Just a regular podium, yeah. Butler won the race, and we are just a few moments away from the cutscenes with um, both Weber and Butler. And yeah, just the results here, Weber got fastest lap of the race, Butler won ahead of Albon and Norris, all three of them are going to F1 next season, so that'll be interesting to see, well hopefully they are all going. Um, yeah, well, Lucas Weber at this point actually is ahead of us on the championship, and we're quite a bit behind, but as we'll see later, this is going to be a fight until the end of the season. So, let's go on to the cutscenes. There you are. That was an exciting race. It definitely got people talking about you, which means I was able to secure a quick interview. Okay, we're all set over here. Just a minute. Remember, anything you say to the press can go very, very public. So, be relaxed but also be conscious of what you're saying and how it might come across to other people, okay? I think we're ready. Great. So Emma keeps telling me you're the one to watch this season. If that's true, you'll be doing plenty of these. Just remember, be yourself. And the more you can give me, the better this will go. Right, stand here. Turn a little this way for me. Perfect. Ready? An exciting race today. Let's get your perspective. So you and Lucas are new to the team. How are you settling in? Damn, I love her accent. <laughs> really do. Uh, adapting to the team, yeah, just go with teamwork. Okay, so how did you feel about being ordered to give up the position to Lucas? Well, I'm never happy, you know, but I'm a team player. And that's what team players do. Great. Well, that's everything. Yeah, great. Let's go. Hey, look, I know that wasn't easy letting me pass, but it was the right choice. It was good driving. Yeah, yeah, that's how I describe it, mate. Just, just good, not great. One in six. One in six makes the leap to F1. The other five are still watching their less talented teammates collect all their points. Shame, really. A lot of great drivers never get their chance because they do it all for the team. Those teams got us here. Yeah, but it's the drivers that take the risk. We should get the rewards. You ever won a race in F1? That's how winners think. Hmm, and remind me, how many F1 races have you won? You watch this space. At the end of this championship, I'll be the one lifting the trophy and I won't use my teammates to nick the podium. Okay, I'm out. You believe what you want, Devon, but it's still early days. He's either very clever, or you're just a pushover. You really think if the situation was reversed, he'd do the same for you? You want to start looking out for yourself. No one else will. I mean, I know he's supposed to be an asshole, but he does have some pretty good arguments there. But still, yeah, he could be a little bit less of an asshole while, you know, pointing, in, pointing them out, you know. Let's go on to the next one.
Look at them go! Devin Butler locked in wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing with his championship rival, desperate to shut them down and stop them getting past. And there's contact. Butler simply left them nowhere to go. There was just no way for them to have avoided that. And look, there's significant damage. Not sure if that was down to recklessness or sheer aggression, but I'm sure the stewards are going to have something to say very shortly. Don't give up. You're still in this race. So we just got in a little bit of a scrap with Devin Butler at this point. Uh, we got front wing damage, so we had to stop to put on a new front wing and... Now we're going to learn something. Okay, the stewards have awarded Devon a penalty. Push on, you can still catch him, you can still beat him. So after that incident, Devon got a penalty, and he, right now, as you can see in the minimap, he is stopping to serve that penalty. And right now, the goal is to just try and overtake him by the end of the race. Um, so the first job is to Devin's get past Makino and then hopefully to a little bit of a train that will form under Butler. Uh, and also at this point a lot of drivers behind me were doing fastest laps and especially Lucas Weber. He's quite a fast driver in the next season in the midfield will probably, he will probably be one to watch out, we will probably be fighting quite a lot if he's in a good car like Haas or Force India hopefully. So yeah at this point I'm behind Makino, didn't take long one lap uh, in the second sector, I did sort of, you know, a wider approach to the corner so I could have a better exit and I went for a little bit of a dive here and went out perfectly, we left the space and I don't mind if I do, the perfect place to do an overtake, as you will see a little bit later on. So just a little replay right now, just a textbook overtake at this point, nothing really too special about it, but I, I'm kind of... I'm quite proud of it to be honest, because usually in my career modes I'm always on one of the slower slower cars, so I'm not really used to going after uh, cars ahead, ahead of me. Anyway, right now we were just doing fastest laps, we were clearly the fastest car on track, 101 AI is probably a bit too easy for me, as you'll see later I'll push it back to 105. But yeah, right now uh, Butler is fighting ahead of us, so that's the perfect opportunity for us to approach him and try to overtake him by the end of the race. Yeah, we catched up to the train with two laps to go and first mission is to overtake Russell. And that's what we're going to try and do in the second corner. We're going for a bit of a dive and we get the job done. Yes, we do. We get past him, a little bit of a squeeze. So to get the better exit and yeah we're now going after Gunther but not before we watch the replay of the overtake as you'll see here nothing really going on there just unusual uh, just a usual place to overtake in all honesty in this track turn two and yeah the second sector we're behind Gunther and we're trying to do the same thing we did on Machino but he didn't really did a good exit there we went wide and so we we're going to have to wait until the last two corners to do something and yeah at this point I'm going on the inside we're going to be on the inside for the last two corners and we get the job done on the inside pretty easy pretty easy overtake there nothing really happening almost an extension of the track there I almost went too much on the inside but fortunately we didn't get a warning so it's all okay and we can fight Devon for the last lap Right now we're going already in second sector on the last lap, we're behind Butler, we are really trying to get close, we want to get past him, after so many laps I just wanted to at least get him back, you know, serve a revenge for what happened earlier in the race, so yeah, kind of a tough situation, I tried to do the wide corner but didn't really work, I locked up, so I still tried to go for the inside but Devon leaves absolutely no space at all, we touch there, I touch on his side pod with the tire, and we're going to watch the replay now, just to kind of see, you know, once again, doing a 
the white corner going on the inside but Devon really leaves no space we touch but for last two corners we're going on the inside quite a dive we extend track limits but we're able to pass them on the last corner of the Grand Prix and that is seventh position in Justin Grand Prix well done good finish he stepped up and achieved what we asked good job Brilliant stuff from Carlin today. What a superb victory. So, Davide, what did you make of that? Well, it was a bit of a roller coaster, I think. There will be a lot of cheering for today's win. Frankly, I'm amazed that Devon Butler only received a penalty for that collision early. But watching the rival he knocked out actually come back and beat him, that made this whole race worthwhile for me. And there you have it, today's winners. Having raised some of the biggest names in F1 to date, Carlin have once again shown their expertise when it comes to recruiting new talent. No doubt today's winners have a bright future ahead of them. They certainly deserve it after today's performance. So yeah, here we go. Uh, I think it was Norris who won the race. So he's a teammate of Devon in this career mode. Um, there's anyone... That's going to have one actually in real life. Nope. I think that was, yeah, Mark Love and Fukuzumi in the podium, Latifi in the fourth position. And yeah, we got seventh place, fastest lap by pretty much a second over anyone else. Lucas Weber was actually under a second. But yeah, he actually finished outside, he qualified third and we fourth place. But yeah, Campos Racing really had a tough. A tough one on their hands in Austria. But yeah, at this point we are 16 points behind Butler. And Norris is actually ahead of Lucas Weber. Very interesting, we're 31 points behind Carlin. But that doesn't really matter too much. At this point we're going to the last race um, in Abu Dhabi. Amazing performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. Well, that was a great recovery today. Did you think it was all over when you had the collision with Devon? Uh, you know, if it was a little bit higher at, at 105, I would have never caught up to him. That's definitely true. So did you ever think you'd get the place back from Devon? Pretty much the same question, but you know, I'm a team player, so I'm going to probably answer something along those lines. Oh, actually not. Showmanship. I've seen that you and Lucas have been picking up a lot of points recently. What do you think of your championship chances? Yeah, I think I'm going to win. <laughs> I think I'm going to win the championship. Yeah, pretty much that. Great teamwork, yay. Appreciate your time. Ah, I was looking for you. Well, what can I say? I guess there's no other way to put this, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry for ever giving you the common respect that all racers deserve, because you don't deserve it, neither of you do. That was the dirtiest driving I've ever seen. Ridiculous. I thought exactly. I'm taking my line and I get smashed into? I'm fine, by the way, thanks for asking me. And then I'm penalized for the privilege. You're unbelievable. You deserved every second of that penalty, maybe more. I mean, aside from trashing the car, did you ever stop to think that maybe someone could get hurt? Yeah. Me? Fine. But winning at any cost is your strategy, not ours. You better watch yourself. Whatever. <sighs> Don't let him get in your head. He knows you're a better driver. So, on the track, stay away from him. He will try to force you into contact. That's how he wins, yeah? Let's get ready for the press briefing. And right now we're going for the last race. I hate Abu Dhabi. I hate this track so much. But yeah, we're going to have to do 11 laps around it. So yay. It's going to be fun. So here we are in Abu Dhabi. Each and every event in the Formula 2 calendar has led us here to this, the final event of the championship and one that promises to be a spectacle every bit as exciting as we might have hoped.
Yaz Island Circuit is a 3.4 mile racetrack built on the man-made Yaz Island. In addition to the 21 corners, it features two very long straights. Now these will be the driver's main overtaking chances today into turn eight and turn 11. Joining me for one last time here this year is Davide Valsecchi. Davide, I'm glad you're here because I think I'm going to need help processing all this. Surely this is as exciting as it gets. Yeah, you're right, Alex. It's the perfect finale. Two drivers, rivals of season, now going into the final race, tied on points. Both way out in front at the top of the standings. Meaning whichever of these two drivers cross the line first will be crowned the champion. I can't wait. Okay, this is it. Last race of the season. All you have to do is finish in the points ahead of Devon, and the next time we see each other, you'll be the F2 world champion. No pressure then. Good luck. Yeah, quite the joker, huh, Jeff? Well, anyway, we're going now uh, just to uh, run over a little bit of the strategy. Uh, just in a bit, but it's going to be no stops at all, because it doesn't make any sense in 11 laps. Uh, we're going on to the mediums, I believe, the yellow ones this season. Yeah, just showing the setup, it's the default setup. I actually had one from Time Trial, but it's an F2 car, so I didn't really want to change anything on it. So, yeah, let's go on to the race. Um, yeah, we start from P8, Butler, I think it's in P P3, I believe. So, yeah, this is the beginning. Not a bad start. Uh, we are able to almost get uh, alongside Russell, but we can't really just get there, <laughs> that would have been an incident right there. I do have to say that I actually had to restart quite a few times, uh, because, you know, the starting wasn't really, I wasn't really understanding what was going on, I had to really go hard, you know, on the accelerator, but yeah, at this point we go for a big boy dive there on both Russell and Foco, we ex extend the tracks, and now we're going on the inside of Norris. Once again, a little bit sloppy, both of them, you know. I was just trying to get, you know, to Butler, you know, I, I really had to. I wanted to win the championship so badly. Um, so yeah, at this point we're going three wide into turn five, I believe. But yeah, we're going on the, we're right at the middle of both of them. And we just have the best position out of the three to be able to gain both of them. And yeah, that's what we did. Let's go and see the replay, as you can see here. On the outside, no chance, on the inside he's mounting the curves and he's going to lose quite a bit of time, so we were right at the best, you know, we had the best line into the corner out of the three. Anyway, after that, we were, I was just going after Butler, it took me a while to get past him, you know. T to get close to him even, you know, this is lap two, this, we were actually a bit closer, at, almost at his gearbox. But I couldn't really get close to him at this point to overtake. I had to wait until lap 5 as you can see now. And I go for a big, big dive there. We actually do make contact. Once again, a little bit too sloppy. I turn on him here. I wasn't expecting him to actually go on the inside there. Once again, we do have a little bit of a touch. But we are able to get the position. And at this point, we are actually leaders of the, of the championship. And from now on, Butler didn't really come at us anymore we were able to pull away and try and fight for the podium which was the main focus as you can see here fastest lap I don't think we do get the fastest lap but yeah at this point we were after Albon I really want to go on the inside here but I didn't really want to do another crazy overtake like I did before so I was just trying to go well into the straights but then I lose so much time on the straights as you can see here he gets a better exit and we just don't have the straight line speed but I go for a dive anyway and once again contact but we're able to keep the position from Albon and we're now after De Vries. so as you can see here in the replay I mean it was a good overtake but De Vries was just going too slow on the corner and I don't know if I actually got front wing damage but didn't really matter too much at the end uh, right after that overtake we go for the V and to the podium and we go around the outside so I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get it, but yeah, we were able to get it. We got a 
we kind of squeezed them out a little bit. You actually had to break a lot so that it could make the corner, as you'll be able to see here from Albon's perspective. We just kind of squeeze him a little bit, but then he goes way too slow, and from then on, I didn't really have any more chances of being overtaken and of overtaking. You know, Weber got past Markolov and just stormed off to the win, and I was really pushing to get Markolov, but I just didn't have enough time. One more lap and maybe I could have gone ahead of him, but Markolov was just able to keep the position very well, and this means that... We are going to win the F2 championship right with a podium, right as it should be. Albon, good finish. He stepped up and achieved what we asked. Good job. It's been my privilege over the years to witness a number of great sporting events, and here's another to add to that prestigious list. It's the ultimate dream for any racing driver. We have a new Formula 2 World Champion. A great win then for the Campos team today. Talk to me, Davide. Was it everything you hoped for? Everything and more. He had it all. The rival, the tension, the excitement. These two drivers have been locked in fierce competition all season. And to see it comes down to head to head battle for the line like this, well, these kind of things doesn't happen very often. They have put in a good performance throughout the championship, but today the accolade goes to his rival and the new Formula 2 champion. And there I was, hugging Tiamat Marduk right after I won the championship with a lot of dive bombs. Hope I made him proud. That result also seals the Formula 2 World Championship title. Congratulations to our winner after an incredible season. And so, driver of the day then, Davide Valsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? Well, I'm going to give it to the Campos driver today. They demonstrated a very delicate touch in the wheel-to-wheel -wheel situation. They showed maturity and patience. With that result, the title is secure, and it's Campos who have claimed the honours. Truly, a force to be reckoned with. And after all that excitement, I think it's time for a lie-down. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you when Formula 2 returns. And yeah, that's a great result for Campos, getting a double podium, fastest lap, driver of the day, everything went great for my team. I don't know how good Campos is in real life, but yeah, in the game we just dominated the championship by the end, and Faber actually stayed very close to the title, only 14 points away. But anyway, that was the race, Butler got P6, we won the championship, everything is looking up for us. Let's go on to the interview. First of all, congratulations! You must be thrilled! Wow, you're the driver's champion! How does it feel? Feels pretty darn good, to be honest. I'm not really used to this at this point. So that was a thrilling end to the season. How was the race for you? I hate Abu Dhabi, so it was painful through every single corner of the track. Wow, we've been hearing rumours of a possible future for you in Formula 1. Care to comment? Oh, oh, no, no, not yet. Just a few minutes away from choosing the team. Appreciate your time. Congratulations, mate. F2 champion. Hey, congratulations. Enjoy it, because it's the last time it will ever happen. Devin, it's okay to be upset. You came very close. Yeah, yeah, we know things would have turned out very differently if I didn't get slapped with that ridiculous penalty. What is it with you and complaining? Look, somehow you managed to do a lot of things right today. That's great! You needed the win, I didn't. For me, this was always just a stepping stone to F1. Oh, you two, you two. You got your work cut out for you now that I'm gone. See, you're going to have to prove to everyone it was more than just luck that got you here. Sure. Winning one race is luck. Winning the championship is talent. Really? Next time you use that incredible talent to ram into someone and steal all their points, remember they won't be as forgiving as I am. Well, this has been a lot of fun. I gotta run. 
yeah. things to sign, important paperwork and all that. I'm sure you understand. Ciao! So, with this big win, you're gonna be getting a lot of interest. All I can say is choose wisely, or else you might end up with someone like Devon as your teammate. Come on, let's go celebrate. Ooh, shiny. Ah, welcome. Come on in. Take a seat. It's time we had the big conversation about your next move. Your performance at the F2 Championships last year got you a lot of attention from the Formula One teams. Some of it more positive than others. I'm not so concerned with who does or doesn't like you. You'll have plenty of time to win the doubt is over. But I am concerned with our choices. They're narrowing as we haven't shown commitment to anyone. Now, as your agent, my advice is to make your decision now. We can worry about comfort and finer points further down the line. I need you to review these. You've earned every single one of these proposals. So take your time, have a read through, and don't get too hung up on specifics. Let's get you a Formula One seat. So yeah, right now, as you can see, I scrolled through all of the themes, but yeah, we had the Ferrari uh, Academy um, contract, but yeah, we are actually going to offer Romeo. As you can see there, they're not really expecting that much. 18th place from both qualifying and the race. Pretty good. Excellent choice. From my conversations with them, they're going to be very excited to pursue this opportunity with you. I'll let them know our intentions immediately. I'll have to clean up some final details with them, but that's what you pay me for. Other than that, congratulations. You've earned it. Damn right I did. Let's go on to Australia. Right here. Let's go on to the first weekend of the Formula 1 season in 2019, finally, after what has been over an hour of recording. Oh hey, you're here. I'll catch up with you. Sorry, I'm just on my way out, but your workstation's at the back over there. It should be all set up on the network, but let the guys know if it isn't. From there, you can access all the data you need to help us direct development of the car. Get yourself settled, and then head out to practice when you're ready. I'll catch up with you later, okay? Welcome to your new team. Alfa Romeo Racing is the kind of team that other privateers aspire to be. No matter the challenges they face, this is a team that rises to the occasion and makes it out the other side. They need someone who can be consistent, resilient, and determined. And there's no doubt in my mind that you can give them those qualities. So yeah, we signed with Alfa Romeo. I really wanted to be teammates with Kimi once again. Back in the older F1 games I played, I did have a lot of times where I actually was teammates with him, so I really want to go back to it, you know, sort of having a throwback to about over 10 years ago when I played the older games. So yeah, right now I'm just scrolling through, you know, just the menu uh, on the career mode, just checking everything out. Uh, being with Kimi, it's going to be tough as far as rivalries, but as far as the team goes, I'll actually have a pretty good advantage because Kimi is really good, you know, in the career mode, hopefully. And yeah, as far as development, yeah, I'm going to invest a lot in durability during the first season. The engine, just a bit, not too much. We don't really have to worry about uh, the Alfa Romeo has pretty good uh, straight line speed. Uh, a few upgrades here and there. Uh, as far as the chassis, uh, yeah, we're going to have to invest quite a bit in it. We're just ahead of Williams, which is not really good at all. And aerodynamics, downforce, we really, really have to go ahead and develop a lot here. And it's going to be very expensive, but I'm not going to use my points just yet. I'm going to wait until the end of the season to do that. Uh, the end of the season, sorry, the end of the, the Australian Grand Prix. So that we have more points and we can decide what to do with them. But anyway, that was the first episode of the um, of this career mode. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, leave a like and subscribe to keep up with the videos that I'm going to start posting from now on. And other than that, I will see you in the next episode. Bye.